G'day guys, welcome to G-Man Speaks. Today I have another quick article review from you from news.com.au and from my favorite journalist, Mary Madigan. Um, so this is more of a, a conversational piece around uh, the dating landscape and the inter-dating dynamics between both genders in 2024. Um, I have some opinions on this, which I will give as I read through the article. Okay, the article is titled, Attitude Problem, Man's Bold Text After Date. An influencer has gone viral for sharing the wild act a man did on a first date and the text he sent after. Number one, what the hell is even an influence? What do you influence? Do you influence the brain dead? Because I can't see how somebody like this is going to be influencing people for anything of benefit in life. Uh, it's more, I'll call them grifters because they're trying to sell shit. After revealing why she wouldn't go on a second date with a man, which she had to do um, for all of her followers on TikTok, I have no issue with people um, making videos about people, uh, commenting on people's content, articles. I do that. I really don't care if people do it to my content. Couldn't give a stuff. I've put it out there publicly in the public domain. Okay, so it's out there. If people have opinions on it, want to comment on it, whatever it is, it's there, right? What I don't agree with is sharing text message extracts and screenshots, regardless of how, look, at the end of the day, this isn't that uh, controversial, on her Instagram, right? So this dude doesn't even realize he's being blasted out to the world. That's what I have an issue with. Christina, who has over 14 million likes on TikTok and only 1,000 followers on Instagram, like who gives a shit, has shared online what she won't tolerate when dating. Let me guess, spending money. We all know that modern dating has brought along a slew of new etiquette questions. Do you text after the first date? When should you add each other on social media? If, you're only on, if he only wants to communicate on Snapchat, does that mean he secretly has a wife? Love that. That is a huge gaslight. Guys, I can tell you from years of womanizing and being with married women, I can tell you right, and, and women in long-term relationships, I'm not bragging about it, I'm not proud of it, right? But it happened, and it was always they always ended up being married when I talked to them through Snapchat, all right? So that is the biggest gaslight of all time. Yeah, I'm sure people, other guys use it and people use it for that, but don't make out it's just men <laughs> because women are just as bad as men, if not bloody worse. Christina has made the coffee date question go viral. Should you always offer to pay for your date's coffee? The influencer shared a text exchange. Oh, look at this profound photo. Mm, I'm so popular. Come on, what context is this at? Why would you even take that photo? Yeah, I'm going to put it up on my profile, moron. The influence, the influence has shared a text exchange she had between her and a man she'd been on a first date with, showing he wasn't prepared to fork out for a flat ride. So, you're cancelling the date because I didn't pay for your coffee on the first date? The man asked. Yes, she replied. Well, you definitely have an attitude problem, he wrote back. I don't have an attitude problem. You have a problem with my attitude, which is not my problem, she argued. Oh, wow, that was just profound. In other words, yes, she has an attitude problem, and yes, he's a tight ass, right? And she's also a tight ass. I'm going to get onto a few points um, that I'm going to talk about before I continue on with the video, guys. As always, I can't help myself. I have to interject here, okay? Number one, she's an influencer with, uh, she gets up to 14 million likes on posts. Surely she's rolling in dough. Does she really need a guy to spend five bucks to feel special? I can understand the concept of it. But women are the tightest creatures on earth and they expect men to pay for things even when they have an abundance of money. It's, it's the age old story. They want all the equal rights. They want all the same things as men, which they already have more and above. They get more or less preferential treatment in society. But they also want men to conform to traditional gender roles when there's no real room for them these days. It isn't 1920 and she doesn't have her own money or she's very low income earner and has no opportunities. It's 2024 and she's uh, apparently, according to herself and according to Mary Madigan here, a very famous person that I've never heard of, right? Self, self-proclaimed uh, influencer. I don't know what she's influencing. As I said, guys, I don't know what these guys influence. Influence idiots to buy things? I don't know. So my view on that is, number one, he's clearly um, ruffled her feathers up the wrong way. Um, she wanted to feel like she was 
uh, going to be treated well. I treated like a princess on a date. Fairy tale syndrome doesn't exist anymore, ladies. Like you, you've sort of killed it for yourselves. By we all know as men, we all know that women like you. We all you women on the dating apps. Do you think you're? We're not. We know you're not sitting there waiting for us to swipe a match with you. We know you're talking to just so many guys. Even the most um, uh, average-looking women, uh, the women that would be sitting on the sideline of the of the uh, high school dance back in 1960 without a chance of ever getting a guy, they've got hundreds of guys messaging them, uh, heaps of little simps, heaps of little planktons trying to get up in there, trying to get some action, right? It's just, uh, it's out of control. We know that. So the more attractive women, we know that you're out dating. We know you're out fielding um, options. You treat dating like a game. You treat dating like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. So that's why guys have an issue paying. It isn't the five bucks, right? It isn't the five bucks. Maybe this guy's been out on a bunch of dates, paid, um, and got ghosted or got blown off or whatever it was and thought, hang on, I'm spending all this money. Yeah, it's only five bucks, but maybe he's done the dinner date things. I can tell you for sure, guys, in my past, I did the dinner dates. I rolled out the carpet, movies, anything they wanted, you know, uh, holidays, you know, things like that I used to do. Right, when I was a lot younger and didn't know this stuff and hadn't been punched in the face and used up <laughs> quite a bit. But as men, we learn. So why don't we go and spend money, because it is an investment, on something we know we're not going to get a return on. You're throwing money in the bin. You don't know this person from a bar of safe. Why would you buy them shit? Like, especially if it's, a, if it's a catch-up. I don't even call that a date. It's just a catch-up. It's a screening. If they want to see you after that first catch-up, then it's the second one's a date. Not this. This is just a meet-up. It's not a date. So why would you? And this is my theory on it it's like i walk down the street and i see you you at home whoever you are mate joe blow watching me and i just feel like you feel entitled i should just buy you a coffee for no reason why would i do that just because she's got a vagina like i don't understand why it's expected these days when everyone knows that um dating is just a, like an overused commodity okay it's highly transactional so to think on a first catch up, people are going to throw money on you and crack the shit so when they don't, then blast them on the internet. I think that's a real problem with society. Now, in defense of this woman, right? So I've had a blast at her. I'll blast this guy. Dude, if you don't want to spend five bucks, you have no date. You have no um, you have no part in being out trying to date, monster hunt, and pick up slurries. Like, it's going to cost you money. Regardless, whether you agree with it or not, whether I agree with it or not, it's going to cost you money. It always has and it always will to have the company of women. Right? It's pay to play. That's the way it goes in society. Always has, always will. You're always paying in some way, shape or form. I've always said this. You're either paying on dates. Uh, you're paying um, implied stuff like you you got a girlfriend. Yeah, you're paying the rent for her. You're paying bills. You're paying more. Whatever it is, you're paying. You're paying for this. People go, oh, I've never paid for that. No, you're paying for it. Like, we all pay for it. So if you're not prepared to pay five bucks, just don't bother with it, mate, because you're going to have to pay some form of money to have access to women. All right, Most of them are not going to put up with um, not even five bucks. So I can understand why a woman would be annoyed at that because you might have asked her out on a date and she might have been thinking that you spent five bucks. So back in the day when I was out doing that, guys, I'd be spending, I had a fucking loyalty card, mate, all the holes punched. I used to go coffees all the time, two a day. Just fucking pay for it. Move on. It's, it's, it's five bucks, ten bucks for two of you. You know, so... I can understand why there's outrage on that as well, but I also understand why guys do it, okay? Women, are, they're all out, they're all multi-dating, they're going out with different guys, they're putting it all over their Instagram, all over their Facebook, um, it's all over TikTok. Men see what women get up to now, so they don't even want to invest $5. What's that telling you about the state of things? All right, that's my rant there. Christina posted the exchange only two days ago and has amassed over 500,000 views on TikTok. So guys, once again, be careful who you're going out with. Some big influencer chick or whatever, because if they don't like it, they'll put you on blast to the internet. That's half a million views. Half a million, just think about that. Half a million people have seen that. You've been blasted. The influencer added that no one should not do anything they do not want to do. But that doesn't mean she has to continue dating a guy who isn't prepared to pay $5 for a coffee. Now, this is where I get back into the point. She's an influencer, right? She's uh, she's top of the range. Uh, she's the way she's showing herself in these photos. Um, she's a high flyer. She's a boss babe. Five bucks. What do you mean? Just if you're the boss babe, you pay five bucks. Who gives a shit? Like why is five bucks? Shouldn't you wouldn't even bend over to pick it up? So what's the outrage about? That's what I'm trying to understand here. Is it the manners part of it? Well, you can't be dating five guys if you want guys to be traditional and have uh, proper manners and dating etiquette. It just doesn't exist. Doesn't exist anymore. You see photos like this of these chicks, like 
to me, that's the biggest red flag. I've got all these photos and shit on Instagram. It's all advertising. They want guys to be um, contacting them, right? It, 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 you're just not going to be the only one going out of there. She argued that because he invited her on a date, that it was polite for him to offer to pay. And when he didn't, she wasn't impressed. Now, I agree with that. I agree with that point. If you're inviting her out, guys, it's five bucks. Be prepared to fucking pay for it. I think it's a nice gesture from a man's side. It's just attractive, she wrote. The text exchange started a big conversation about money etiquette when dating. Why would we have to? Pay, why would he have to pay? One person asked. Almost all the comments agreed that Christine and not bothering to go on a second date with the guy was a right move. Yep, that's it, guys. The hive mind, right? It would have been a whole bunch of chicks um, because they uh, pump each other up with all their rubbish, and so the internet has just done that um, to the highest degree. I should have five hundred thousand women saying, "Oh, dump him, don't speak to him. Oh, you go, you know your worth, girl, and all that sort of bullshit, right?" And then the other guy's a scumbag, and he's a brokey, and whatever it is, he's dusty. Whatever women say about men. But if you really think about it and peel it back, I think, yes, you'd be expected to pay, but yeah, why should you have to pay if it's just a meetup? It's not a, a date. Like, I'm, I'm, sort of, I'm sort of split there, right? But yeah, just be prepared to pay, guys. It's frustrating reading these comments. Plenty of people declared that offering to buy someone a coffee is the bare minimum and more about the gesture than the actual cost. Someone else called the act wild and another pointed out that offering to buy someone a coffee isn't just the right thing to do on a date, but the normal thing to do for friends, family, or yes, even love interests. No, I've never bought anyone a coffee. Um, just gone and shouted some random a coffee. Never done it ever. So men, what men are just expected just to spend money on every, anyone, people you don't know with nothing in return. I think that's what my uh, main point is here. Another, so here we go. Let's read some more bullshit. Not paying for coffee is weak. He has a problem with your standards, someone else pointed out. That was a great response, other chief. So bullshit journalism, once again, I don't know how that's even here. But what's, what, what, what do I take out of this article? I'm going to tell you, all right? This is a hot take. I always say this. I've said it in many of my other videos, and I've said it my whole life, and a lot of people don't agree with me. They think it's outrageous. Women are the cheapest creatures on earth. They expect, for the most part, to have the red carpet rolled out generally their whole lives. When it comes to a man, he has to pay. I'm not talking about all of them. The majority of you women out there on the dating apps, TikToks and all that, you're the cheapest creatures on earth. You make out like your boss babes. You make out like you're a big dog. You got all your shit together. You don't need no man. You earn more money than men. Men can't live up to your standards, but you complain about spending five bucks on a coffee. What does that tell me? You're a tight ass. So I'm going to say, yeah, the guys are tight ass and you're, you're both a tight ass. All right? But women are the cheapest creatures on earth. I always want the guy to pay and complain about it. Hang on, don't you have your own money? Anyway, that's enough, guys, for me. That's enough of a rant and over and out.